Welcome back to the Techmoto channel and our series of videos for beginners in electronics. In the next few videos we're going to be looking at Arduino boards, where to buy them, what different types are available and how to use them. So let's start at the beginning. What is Arduino? Well, Arduino is an open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware and software. These boards are able to read inputs such as a, a light on a sensor, a finger on a button, or even a, a Twitter or Facebook message. And you can turn those into an output. So you can activate a motor, turn on an LED, or even publish something online. Now you can tell your board what to do by sending a series of instructions to the microcontroller on the board. Now if you're going to go online and buy yourself an Arduino board, you probably notice that there's quite a few available. There are three main types. There's the Micro, the Uno, and the Mega 2560. All three of these different types of Arduino boards have their own level of processing power. The frequency or clock speed of these boards simply means how fast they can execute commands. The space where your programs are stored on the Arduino board is called the flash memory. And whilst the memory on the Uno and Micro are the same at 32 kilobytes, the Mega 2560 has 256 kilobytes, which gives it about eight times more space. The flash memory simply means how big of a, a sketch or code you can upload to your Arduino and therefore you can have a pretty hefty piece of code with Mega2560. All of the Arduino boards use SRAM which stands for Static Random Access Memory. The Mega2560 has the most SRAM with 8 kilobytes, uh, which is 4 times more than the Uno and 3.2 times more than the Micro. With more SRAM space the Arduino has more space to create and manipulate variables when it runs. The last thing, and possibly the most important thing for many people, will be the number of I.O. pins on the various different boards. The board with the most pins is the Mega 2560, which comes with 54 digital I.O. pins and has 16 input analog pins. Surprisingly, the Micro comes second on this list, uh, having 20 digital I.O. pins and 12 analog pins. The Arduino Uno comes last, as it has only 14 digital I.O. pins and six analog pins. For a beginner though this is no problem as you do not need that many I.O. pins to learn how to use it. All of these boards are available on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon and just type in Arduino Uno as a search string uh, you'll get multiple different entries. If you're going to follow along with this series of Arduino tutorials it might be a good idea to buy a starter pack. Now the starter packs come with the Arduino Uno, they come with a breadboard and they come with lots of components that you can practice with. This series is based on one of those packs and we will go through several videos explaining how to use all the various components that are contained within that package.